quick video on Blendor. This is 2.81A or something. Um, this one's going to be about rotoscoping in Grease Pencil. How do you do it? So to rotoscope, you need to import a video and have it on the background. How do you do that then? Well, um, we're in like 2D layout, 2D layout mode. Change it to um, object mode. And then rather than clicking on stroke, go down to camera. And you should see, he says here, camera tools. Ooh, no, 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 no. Camera, there we go. And we go down to um, open movie, basically. So if you've got that down there, you want to go to background images, want to add an image. Okay. Um, actually, we've got multiple ones. We can just bin that one. And what we're going to do is open a, open a image or a movie, and the movie we're going to go and select is Crow Dot Movie. And when you selected it, you can go and turn it on. So to turn it on, you need to turn the camera on. Click the splash. There we go. We now have a animated piece of video in the background of a crow. Right. So you've got some settings down here. Right. What's the alpha of it? How, how see through do you want it to be? You can change that, vary that. Default is 0.5, I believe. So that's all cool. And then what you can then do, go down to frame one then, um, and you'll have two at the moment. You'll have um, background and fills. So, well, sorry, you'll have, I think it's called stroke. So stroke, turn it on. I've just drawn the background and changed, double clicked it, changed the name to We'll just sort of put back for background, change it to background. Now, you, your first thing you want to do after that is like make a new layer. And stupidly, you don't do it where you're looking. You don't do it here. If you go over to these little icons down here, it doesn't show you either. So it doesn't help, does it? Because you're still in object mode. What you need to be, because you, you, the object you're playing with at the moment is a camera. So you need to go and select a... Um, Stroke layer in your let me make it a bit bigger. So there we go. So in here you've got your strokes and different strokes inside your strokes, stroke layers basically, and then change it from object mode into draw mode, and then you can uh, then when you've done that you get this little icon down here. Look. So let me just change that again. So you didn't see it if we put it into object mode. Keep your eye on this. Go into object mode. It doesn't disappear. Okay. So, but when you're on camera, it does disappear, I think. Yes. So when you're on camera, you can't see it. So you've got to be in stroke mode to see it. And then you'll get layers, basically. So you can go and add a new layer, which is what I've done. I've added a crow layer. And then you select your crow layer here, and it goes green, so it tells you what you're playing with. Then I have drawn over it to follow what the crow is doing. Really basic stuff, just easy, quick, stupid, simple drawing, because I'm not really a drawer. And then if you want to turn the background off so you can see what you've got, just go and turn your camera off. So under camera, just turn it off. And then you can then play it. Let's see how this works. And then you get the sort of crow putting the, looks like an ice cube the way I've drawn it, but whatever, I think it's a weight. Puts it inside the uh, thing. And that is basically that. You also got a full screen version of it somewhere. So it's me looking for 2D cameras here. You get a big version of it. So you can also play it in there. And that is basically how to get rotoscoping going. So you need to, because what, what happens usually is you open it up and you only have two layers. One of them is a filler, one was going to be like, could be the drawing but usually end up with background I even type that wrong B A C K background there you go and you want to add in a new layer so if I go into here and say I want a new layer you need to be in you don't do it here stupidly can't do it here you can't do it here <laughs> don't know why it's a bit, a bit it's, it's blender so it's sort of different but in here you can so you've got crow I can add one and I can I can put like I don't know another another layer basically or can delete the layer. And that adds your new layers. And that's it, really. Uh, 
I've done your video. Jesus, five minutes of me waffling on. Right, see you in a bit. Cheers, bye.